good evening today we are going to study about binary research tree now we'll see how to design a binary research tree to design a binary research tree we use the following steps there may be a list of elements given to us so we consider that element may be a given to us maybe a number or it may be a alphabet or it may be a word to design a binary search tree. the first step is to design a binary search tree is we pick the element first element from the given list of elements and we make it as a root node now we take the next element from the given list and compare that element with the root node we if we found that if the element is less than the root node then we place the element in the left subtree otherwise we place the element in the right subtree at last we repeat above step till the last element is considered let us see the first example on designing a binary search tree the problem is given like this design a binary search tree for the following elements the elements are given as digits to us so we pick the first element from the given list of element and we make it as the root node now in the next step we take the next element that is 3 from the given list and we compare the element 3 with root node 8 and now we came to know that 3 is lesser than 8 so we place that 3 to the left hand side of 8 take the next element that is 10 compare 10 with 8 it is greater than 8 that's why it is placed into the right subtree take next element 14 compare it with the root node again it is greater than 8 then there is another node that is 10 to the right side of 8 now we'll compare 14 with 10 and also it is greater than 10 so we place the node 14 to the right side of node 10 take 13 and compare it with the root node so we place it to the left hand side of 14 take 1 it is lesser than 8 so it goes to the left subtree of 8 but there is another node that is 3 we compare 1 with 3 and then we will come to know that it is again lesser than 3 so we place it to the left subtree of 3 take the next element 6 from the list compare it with the root node it is less than the root node it must be placed into the left subtree of root node 8 so we compare it with this node 3 and we come to know that it is greater than 3 so we place it into the right subtree of node 3 the next element to be inserted into this binary tree search tree is 4 so we'll compare it with the 8 it is lesser than 8 but greater than 3 that's why it goes to right subtree but it is less than 6 so it goes to the left subtree of node 6 now the next element that comes is 7 compare it with the a, root node 8 it is lesser than 8 so it goes to the left subtree greater than 3 goes to the right subtree greater than 6 it goes to the right subtree of node 6 so this is the final binary search tree for the given list of elements let us see the another example of designing a binary search tree for the following elements here instead of giving numbers they have given us alphabets so to solve this problem we must know the alphabetical order in a b c d up to z so take the first element that is d and make it as the root node of this tree take next element a in a b c d sequence a appears before node d that's why it gets placed into left subtree of node d take the next element that is c again it is lesser than d but it comes after node a in abcd sequence that's why it is placed into the right subtree of node a take the next element f f is greater than node d because it appears after node d into the abcd sequence so it placed to the right subtree of node d now we'll take the next element that is g g is greater than d also greater than f that's why it is placed to the right subtree of node f now we'll take the next element from the given list that is m m is greater than d 
also greater than f and also greater than g that's why it is placed to the right subtree of node g now the next coming element is b b is lesser than d but it is greater than a and also lesser than c that's why it is placed to the left subtree of node c now the next element is i i is greater than d greater than f greater than g but it is lesser than m that's why it is placed to the left subtree of node m so this is the final binary tree for the given list of elements so thank you for listening this video